Hey what's up guys it's Justin here and today I've got my camera test of the Samsung Galaxy S6. So year after year Samsung seems to be setting the bar in this category. And for as long as I can remember Samsung has always had great cameras built into their smartphones. So upon the release of the Samsung Galaxy S6 that brought forward many exciting upgrades including a QHD display, a completely refined design made out of glass and metal bringing a very beautiful device, the camera was something that I was also very anxious to check out. And on the S6 we have a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with an f1.9 aperture with optical image stabilization, HDR and also the ability to record 4K video. On the front you have got a 5 megapixel camera capable of recording full HD video. But before I jump into the camera samples I wanted to give you a quick look at the camera interface. So going into your settings instead of having the grid layout which was a little bit intimidating for some you do have everything listed in a kind of traditional settings layout with your camera settings your video and photo settings as well as your mode button on the corner and you can also add some additional modes as you remember in the past a lot of them were pre-installed. Moving on, you can also have your top use features located on the side. You have the HDR, the timer, flash, and effects, stuff like that. And as you jump into your gallery, you also have some options to do some basic editings when it comes to color, the cropping, and stuff like that. But without further ado, sit back and relax, and I hope you guys enjoy some of the photo and video samples I took unedited of the Samsung Galaxy S6. So when it comes to the photo samples, you'll see that the Samsung Galaxy S6 does a great job as expected. It is able to capture a great amount of detail with a 16 megapixel sensor. And also very importantly, the colors are very well balanced on the Samsung Galaxy S6 as well. It has done a very good job of that and the autofocusing was also very snappy. And that the ability to launch your camera in just 0.7 seconds and snap that photo right away gives you the peace of mind that you're going to get a great photo every time. When it came to low light performance, the S6 fared pretty well there as well. As for the 5 megapixel front facing camera, it did a great job at that. You can see the color balancing was great and I also noticed in the Samsung Galaxy S6 camera compared to others on the market, it captured a very wide photo. So now let's move on to 4K video. Looking at the video of the S6, it once again did an impressive job. It was able to capture a great amount of detail, the colors were great, and it was pretty much what I had expected after using the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. But to conclude, I gotta say Samsung has once again nailed it in the camera category on the Samsung Galaxy S6, and be sure to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button as well as it helps the channel out a bunch. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.